Now there are two different ways that you can see Havana. The first is the day tour from your all-inclusive resort. A vintage, shiny 60s Cadillac shows up, picks you up, and you drive along the outskirts of the city looking at the beautiful buildings, and you might just stop and have a mojito at the same place Hemingway did. And then there's experiencing Havana by being right in the heart of it. We went down to Havana for a modeling job, and we got to experience life right in the heart of Havana. So we have three days in Havana. We get to see the city. Version of 24 hours in Havana, because collectively we probably have 24 hours in Havana to explore. Now we were shooting for a bridal catalog in the middle of the streets of Havana. When you change in the back of cabs and Hugo makes a divider for you so nobody can watch your tatas and change. Hugo's the best. I can't tell you the number of stories that came from these photos. Just imagine you live in Havana and walking down the street suddenly is this Canadian girl in a bridal gown asking to take a photo next to your fruit stand. Or this guy who introduced himself as the Morgan Freeman of Cuba. The biggest piece of travel advice, even if you don't speak the language, there's always a way that you can try to get to know locals. En Cuba. Bueno, claro, si es en La Habana es en Cuba porque todo el mundo conoce La Habana. ¿Tu amigo es loco? Sí, todos. Sí. <risa> As the sun set against a postcard backdrop, it was time for us to look for a place to eat. So happy we have Sofia who speaks Spanish because we're just talking to people on the street who are giving us a recommendation about where to go. And we're fully just like following him. It's great. Now we're getting a guided tour from Jordan. I'm so excited. Hey, bien. <laughs> I love this so much. Favorito. Yes. Hey. What are you saying? Yeah. Paladars or paladares, still not sure, in Cuba are private restaurants that are often found in people's homes. Now this is going to be your best bet to get a home-cooked Cuban meal. Havana is hands down one of my favorite cities. And the character that this country has to offer to the warmth of Cuban people, you can definitely see why Hemingway fell in love with this place. I certainly have.